Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, a person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you're interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website spirituallygoalie.com for you to view all of the different options for readings okay so Taurus you've been working on maintaining more balance in your life and it's like you've been kind of creating peace. I'm seeing you've created a lot of peace and harmony here. There's something I see you've been really patient on though. What is this? Okay, oh, you've been patient with someone. You've been really patient with someone. It feels like you've been really kind of like going along with things. Hmm, someone has been like really clingy or really attached to you in a way, this Queen of Cups. But it feels like they've been maybe a little bit emotionally unstable, a, a little bit all over the place. And you've been trying to make it work with this person. Yeah. You've been trying to make it work here, trying to figure out a plan, trying to also gain control. Hmm. Okay, you've been gaining control over your mind too as well with this King of Swords energy. It feels like a lot has been going on in your head with this tornado. But it feels controlled though. It feels like even though you have a lot in your mind or you may feel a certain type of way about things, about people, you've gained control over your reactions to them and you've kept kept it kind of like bottled up in a way hmm. yeah it's like four of wands it does feel like you're trying to keep something together here four of wands trying to keep something stable a relationship a home situation with a person You've been taking action towards this. Yeah, you've been taking action here. I want to see what's going to happen, though, because... Okay, you're about to speak up for yourself. Yeah, you're... You're not going to keep this bottled in for long. You're about to speak your truth here, because... You're seeing someone as like destroying a, a good foundation and you're like, what, what are you doing? You've been trying to stay strong and patient. You've been very, very patient. It feels like there's someone who's going through a really hard time right now. And you're trying really hard to be patient with this person. And you're thinking like, how much longer can I take? How much can I take from this person? I feel like I'm also being hurt by their, by their actions or by what they're going through. I'm seeing someone who's being really reckless. And they're being reckless, but they're also being a little bit reckless with you. And 
you've been trying to make it work, but it, it looks like you're at this point where you're not going to stay silent. It's like, you know, you know, you need maybe even some help or support here. It's like, you're like, I don't know how to control this. I don't know how to con take control over this situation, over this person. I don't know how to handle all of this. And it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to, uh, like, you can see these mice are helping the, this tiger to get out of this situation. And I feel like that's you. It's, it's your, your at this point where you're looking for help or asking for help where you don't have to do all of this alone you don't have to try to control this whole tornado by yourself you could be dealing with a Sagittarius Leo Aries I'm also seeing Libra Gemini Aquarius here okay if you have someone on your mind think of them let's take a look and see what their energy is saying right now how are they feeling about you, about this situation? Okay, Knight of Cups. So this person is... Huh. This person is coming towards you with some sort of love offer. This person does... I feel like this person has been reckless, although they are someone who does have good intentions. Or they're coming towards you with good intentions and, and um, a genuine offer here. They may come to you with flowers or try to show you. They may, this may even be an apology like, hey, I know I've been going through a lot and I'm sorry that I've brought you into this. But you're pulling on their heartstrings and they they're looking at you as somebody who has a stable foundation. And they're trying to also observe, observe you at this moment too. Okay. So they're seeing you as coming in and coming toward, coming to see them, coming to, together face to face. You may end up coming to each other's home, visiting someone's home. There's something I see this person... Keeping, though, secret. What is this? Something they haven't let go of yet. What, ha what is it that they haven't let go of? Oh. They're still not over something. From... That happened. They're still grieving a situation. And they're like keeping this to themselves. Their actions is, is keeping this a secret. Or keeping things low key. Keeping things a secret with you. Maybe even a, this relationship a secret with you. Huh. I feel like this person is trying to come towards you with good intentions, but being really impulsive or reckless through their actions and it's not coming through that way. Something from the past is coming around though. Yeah. Someone's asking for another chance. Someone's going to be asking for another chance here. This could be someone who you've been intimate with. Someone may have ignored the other person at some point. That's how you'll know who they are. But someone's coming in wanting another chance. What's the advice? Work on yourself, work on your career, your finances. This is advice. Because this person is still holding secrets and is still coming towards you a little crazy, right? It's like they're still coming towards you a little bit unstable.
And it's okay to forgive. Because forgiveness is for yourself. But yeah, what's what's the outcome with Taurus and this person? Oh, the outcome, depression, falling in love. It just feels like this person may just end up putting you, bringing you down like another hole with them. Even if you two end up falling in love, it's just like, is it a good idea though? Probably not. <laughs> right? Probably not. There's a new connection here. There's, they're saying that there's a new connection out there for you. Someone who's going to, um, someone different. Someone who is not going to be coming towards you with all of this, this chaos. Someone, someone healed. Okay, I'm seeing the number six and two. Those numbers, they could be birthdays or synchronicities that you may be seeing. I'm seeing the letter C, G, I, H, O. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.